Ayan, good morning everyone. I used the microphone ko. Um, I was able to fix it yesterday. I found a problem. Hey, yeah, pasensya na. Um, pasensya na. I do my own technicals. I do my own cameraman. <laughs> lahat, lahat. Um, but it's fun. It's fun doing this. Um, um, somehow YouTube is giving me uh, a bad signal. I hope wala pong problema dyan sa, sa side ninyo. Um, let me know if you have every any problems on your stream, okay? Para, um, let's see, let's see. But so far, I think okay lang naman. Ayan. So today we're going to be talking about the three reasons why a newbie do not cut losses, right? And then I'm going to teach you more about cut losses today, right? This is one of the re- lessons I have in my seminars and I'm going to be teaching it to you para sa mga newbies dyan na, um, para at least ma-realize nyo why you are not doing your cut loss and how is it hurting you or is it uh, beneficial on your side if you don't cut loss because let's face the reality this is the reality of the newbies so we're gonna be talking about that today and um, please post if you have whatever your reason is why do you do uh, why you don't cut losses please post it in the comments right kasi pag-usapan natin yan um, good morning to my daughter and uh, to my daughter Laika and to everyone um, if you just watch the replay of this video kindly move the video stream to around 25 minutes around 25 minutes po uh, sa video because this is just recorded uh, this is recorded live and uh, the discussion start usually at 8.40 in the morning that's 25 minutes from now Ayan, so please do that. All right, I'm gonna go to the comments first. Yang pala guys, before I continue, please share the video. Paki share po ang video. Share it to uh, your uh, Facebook walls and um, redundant yung ano, ano ko, ah, um, advertising ko. Ah. Dapat palakihin ko yung mukha ko, hindi yung advertising. All right, and sila na sumisikat, hindi na ako. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, huh? Let me adjust this. Yan, dapat malaki mukha ko. Hindi mukha nila ang malaki. Alright, that's much better. That's much better now. And so, yan. Um, yan. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning, Joel. And Renulfo Ferzas, my buntag coach. Ug Laika, RCI. Please let me just double check my audio. We're really quick. At that today. Ayan. Ayan. Klaro naman siguro, ba? Alright, so, much, much better now. Um, Ranulfo first as RCI please. Uy, um I was looking at RCI and yeah maganda naman yung support niya. Yun nga lang um natatakot ako kay RCI kasi it's been, it's been giving us negative numbers. That's against my uh, trading uh, bias kasi eh, right? Uh, really against my trading bias. That's why I don't like recommending these companies but uh, again tech, at the end of the day it's not the fundamentals that's um making the market move. It's really the the uh what they call this the the price action and price action is telling us na okay naman si RCI so we'll talk about RCI later on I'm gonna erase the other mga questions kahapon and si RCI unahin natin yan later daanan natin yan Rodolfo um, Jose Tamundong had a blessed uh, have, a, have a blessed Thursday sir green market sana hopefully after a strong pullback ganito lang naman yun eh the harder it rises, the harder it falls. And then the harder it falls, the harder it rises again. So that's the market. And good morning, Rodrigo Carlos. Good morning, uh, Arjo Mendoza. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like a Vul ISM poster. Um, si Vul still okay. Um, ISM nag pull back yesterday, but overall still okay. Malapit na pong, uh, January 31. Yun po inaabangan natin. Uh, Sir ECP, this is from Jose Tamundong. ECP and ABG. And LTG B Corp, please. Alright, these are good companies you're looking at. So, tina natin yan sila. And uh, next up is Romeo. Kabiko, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. IRC po, please. I'll, we'll write down IRC. Kamusta natin si IRC? Ay, gumalaw ni IRC eh. Tagal eh. <laughs> but, anyways, that's the stock market, really. You just get in, test buy, kasi wala pang momentum. That's why it's called the trend is your friend. Because. Pag uptrend yan, there's the momentum there. Mas mabilis talaga. Mas malaki yung chance na umakyat. Pero minsan kasi, pag hindi mo sinalo yan sa baba, antayin mo yung uptrend. Baka biglang umakyat. Right? Pag biglang umakyat yan, naku, uh, baka hindi ka maka uh, sakay na. Right? Diba? So, dapat sinasakyan mo yan sa baba pa. Right? Mabel San Jose, um, good morning. Holcim, please. Let's check out Holcim. HLCM. 
Um, Noel Taranco, good morning coach. Pakisuyo po ng AC. And si AC, inaabangan lang natin yan. Let's wait for it to stabilize and let's see if there will be a buy area, uh, a buy signal anytime soon. All right, It's on sale right now. Muna na naman si AC. Jane Hazel Cruzada after kahapon. Hinila si PSEI ni AC kahapon. Even SMPH. Ang laki ng sell-off. Right? Uh, SMPH went down because of yun, um, there was there uh, there was there's a possible delay in their projects. Yan. Um, yun yung sinasabi ko, right? If nasa taas na guys, expect people to do sell-offs. Kaya when people are celebrating, celebrating on AC, celebrating on SMPH, muntik na mag all-time highs sa SMPH. That's why I don't want you to go after all-time highs. Right? Because rule number one natin sa trading is buy a stock which is on sale. All-time high nga yan, yung pinakamahal niyang presyo for hindi lang all-time high. Ano, um, yun, minsan 52 weeks high. So, yun. Um, so, delikado yung mga position na ganyan. So, ingat po tayo sa mga ganyan. Alright. Um, good morning po from Jane Hazel Cruzada. Um, Cruzada. Yan. Good morning. Vol and Bell po. Sulat natin si Vol and Bell. Vol Bell. Alright. Um, Emmanuel Nadera. Good morning. LTG. Oops. Bumaba. Bigla yung comments. One moment, please. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, good morning. LTG cutting losses around four uh, percent to so far one point four palang loss cost. All right, that's still good. That's okay. Uh, Addison C, good morning. Yeah, to pag-usapan natin yung cutting losses nyan ngayon. All right, especially sa mga newbies. Right, minsan kasi nakakalimutan ko to go back to the basic. I forget that. Uh, yung mga viewers natin. Kasi ang niisip ko kasi, oi, na pag-usapan na natin to. Hindi ko na ito ita topic. And then I forget that. We get new view viewers every now and then, so sila hindi pa kaya hindi pa nila panood yung previous mga ano. It's good to um talk about these things again, right? So that's good. Um, guys, pakipo um subscribe to my uh YouTube channel. Um, please click on the subscribe button. Uh, para what do you call this? Um, ma notify po kayo whenever there is live in the future. Right. Um. Tignan ko nga. Dapat na wala yung ano ko. Chat box. I wanna put this down. One moment, please. Na wala yung mga zombies ko, right? Dapat meron ako zombies pag may nagsa subscribe, eh. so <laughs> babalik kayo mamaya. Pero wala nang space para sa zombie, eh. so siguro wag na lang. <laughs> um, anyways, Addison C, good morning Sir Lloyd, good morning then. Um hi Sir Lloyd, morning. Pwede po pasilip si Web. Thanks Web is now bouncing at MA20, so that's very good for Web. Pwede po nating pasukin yan si Web actually. Um meron lang bad news kasi lately kaya nagdadalong isip ako kung i-recommend, but we'll talk about Web later. Yan. So, yan. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Like a pasa- pasali po, pasilip po kay LTG. LTG, let's write that down. This is from uh, this is from Denzio. Alright. VD uh, Mavi, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Nice topic for today. Yes. Uh, hindi po tayo magsasawa. Maghanap po tayo ng topics, especially para sa mga newbies. Alright. So, VD, thank you. Re- Riema Evans. Alright. Good morning po, Sir Lloyd. Sir Heaven po inside. Thanks, Sir. Kamusta rin natin si Heaven? Nasa heaven pa yun sa heaven eh. Kaya hindi ko chinecheck yan eh. Alright. So, let me just angat ko lang konti yung microphone ko. Um, ayan. Kasi nag-aano sa keyboard ko eh. Alright. Um, next is uh, Lorwin. 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 Good morning. And Riema. Ayan. Tinignan na natin yan. RJ Abracosa. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Mukhang tatamaan ako ng lessons na to. I'm a newbie myself and I find it hard to cut my losses. Ayan. RJ. Yeah. We'll talk about cutting losses today and um i uh, this is a major part of my seminars guys um i teach people i let real uh, people realize why uh bakit ang mga newbies hindi makapag-cut loss right so th- that's part of the seminar i'm gonna teach you ngayon um the mindset of the newbies bakit hindi sila nagka-cut loss right and why you shouldn't be doing this right um I have so much more topic about cutting losses. How to take advantage of this? Sana po magjoin kayo na seminar. It's it's really a good investment sa inyo. Um, don't take my word for it. Tignan nyo po yung um, comments na mga students ko. Uh, Anjan sa Financial Freedom 101. Anjan sa mga ratings and recommendations. Tignan nyo po yan. Ano po masabi ng mga students? It's gonna be very helpful for you guys para at least ma take advantage po yung bullish market. Anyways. 
uh, hops or Sir Lloyd good morning laki ng binagsak ni PSEI kahapon in Puts Pusser yeah that was because of SMPH and AC right hinila nila nagpabigat si Ayala Corp and SMPH and you know these are one of the, uh, these are two uh, one of the biggest blue chips in the comp- uh, in the in, in PSEI so grabe so yun um, hops Uh, maybe anytime so anyways wala namang bad news talaga sa companies eh. it's just that people are uh, uh, meron lang malaking mga companies nag, nag-unload kaya la corporate nagbenta na sila umakyat na eh diba so usually uh, that's normal taking profits is really normal right so it's gonna stabilize anytime soon I'm waiting for the stabilization don't worry as usual as usual Irereko ko po sa inyo if it's time to buy it again. So right now, hindi pa muna. So abang lang muna tayo. Um, chart request din po sana. PCOR, EEI, CLC, and SCC. At si SCC is doing good price action. Re- re- just really waiting for a good um, uh, a good buy signal from SCC before I strongly want to recommend it. Sorry about that. Alright, um, so sulat ko yung mga request mo, Hops. Christian Cortez, hi Sir Lloyd. Good morning. Okay pa ba mag-hold on kay... Picor at SMC. Picor at SMC. Uh, so far so good. Picor is. Yeah, tignan natin yung chart. Si Picor. Yeah, si Picor. Yeah, why not? Why not hold it? Anjan pa naman yung sa support natin, de ba? So Picor is still there. That's the support area. Hindi naman nakat yung. Uh, hindi naman hit yung loss natin. Actually, dito ko nireko yun to si Picor, eh, de ba? Sa baba. Uh, so yun yung problema lang. Bakal dito kay sa tama, taas na pumasok. Dapat dito tayo sa baba pumapasok. And then, ho- support is still holding. Right? Uh, so far, so good. Yung cut loss natin dito is around um, negative 3 below support. So, negative 3 below support is ang layo-layo pa. It's right here at around 7.42. Diyan pa yung cut loss natin. So, it's still, still, still far away. So, I'd say... Hold pa, right? The support is holding. It's really wrong to cut loss at this area. Kasi nasa support tayo. Ang laki ng chance kaya umakyat yan, di ba? So, it's not good to cut losses here. Even here at this level, right? Give it a, give it a room for bounces. Kasi usually, pag double bottoms, bumabagsak pa yan, right? This is a double bottom pattern, right? Double bottom. Uh, si JFC, nag-double bottom, pero tumagos pa, right? So, I just wanna show this to you. Um... This is the support of Jollibee. This is the first bottom. Tingnan niyo yan. Ang second bottom, nagtumatagos pa. Pero, yan, yun, yun yung sinasabi ko. Don't cut losses there. Cut losses around 3% below support. Kasi dyan, mas matindi na yung pagbagsak na yan. That's a collapse. But, konti lang yung tagos niya eh. Diba? So, I don't want you to cut losses there. Nagre-recover pa yan. There's a big, big chance that a stock can recover there. So, huwag niyo po dyan kayo mag-cut loss. Uh, let's go back to PCOR. Huwag niyo, huwag kayo mag-cut loss dyan. Pikot tuloy. <laughs> Picor. <laughs> Picot tuloy na. Ayan. So, ayan. Picor is still okay. Nothing wrong with Picor. Uh, still holding the support. The support is strong. And we are seeing divergence at that area. So, that's a good bottom actually. Right? So, don't worry about Picor. Um, SMC. Uh, hindi naman sa don't worry. It's not yet time to worry. SMC naman. Uh, no. I'd say no. Nirecommend natin yan dito. So, this has been my support. That's a pullback, right? That's a pullback that we expected. Even, I told you, if dyan kayo sa taas pumasok, use a breakout strategy, right? Sabi ko sa inyo, the, the, um, pwede natin hibunan yung breakout strategy dyan. And it's holding that support, di ba? Ito yung resistance niya. 1, 2, 3, resistance doon. And then, there's the breakout. 4, then there's a breakout. And then, nag-pullback lang. Look at that. The support is now holding. So, we are at, we're still at support kay SMC. So, don't cut loss yet. Well, don't put your cut loss very near. Para lang nakita nyo. Yun yung problema kasi. That's why I really want to recommend low, low risk stocks. Kasi the newbies, example, dito. Dito sa taas nakapasok. Dito na around this level. And then, you are already losing around negative 3%. Yung mga newbies niyan, hindi na kampante. Usually, ang risk na tin, kinakain ko is around 5% losses. So, it's still, that's still okay. Right? Pati bayan na sikmura dito. If your support is holding, don't sell it yet. One of the biggest reason, uh, one of the biggest mistakes a newbie does is they sell too early on the cut loss and also on the uh, on the profits, right? Kasel John Visaya, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo po ng AC. Mag-sell na po ba uh, sa MPI at AGI? Right? Um, let's check out AC, MPI and, uh, MPI and AGI. Is it time to take profits? 
Uh, so far, uh, I don't think so. And um, we just did a breakout right here. So it's not yet time to take profits. We're still at the breakout levels. Nag sustain naman yung breakout, di ba? If it fails the breakout, pag nag failed breakout yan, yes, we can sell half. Kasi baka bumalik sa major support niya. But right now, this support, the previous resistance, which is now our support, is holding. One moment, please. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Pasensya na. Um, CMG. Hi, me. Alright. Uh, ayun, sa AGI din. Yeah, tingnan daw natin si AGI din. Si Aji naman. Yeah, this is a sell profit. I mean, take profit level for me. Uh, usually, this is a seg sell signal. Uh, if it closes lower than this previous candlestick, this is an indicator that it's gonna do a pullback. Right? I always want you to sell half on these kinds of wins because... Pullback na yan. The thing is, we don't know where it is, is going. Baka mag-bounce. Sabihin mo, wag, wag ko ko ibenta, Sir Lloyd. Kasi baka magtuloy-tuloy pa. You're right. But what if mag-pullback mag naman yan? Diba? And then, what if... Okay lang, Sir Lloyd. Pag mag-pullback yan, malapit lang naman. Amy 20. We don't know that. No one can predict the market. So, what if mag-pullback yan and then mag-reversal na? Mag-break ng Amy 20. Sayang yung gains mo. Always sell half, right? So, I have a lesson about sell half. You don't know what is gonna happen in the future. No one can predict the market. So, be at a position that where whatever happens, you are on a not bad position. So, pag nag-pullback yan, at least nakapag-take profits ka. What if hindi mag-bounce and magtuloy-tuloy bumalik ulit sa major support niya? So, nawala yung gains mo. So, that's bad if you don't sell. That's being greedy. Don't do that. If you want to win it all, you might lose it all. Right? CM, hi, me. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ano po tingin nyo? PIP, tags, WPI Green. O nga pala, guys. Kindly share the video. Pakishare po ang video sa Facebook walls nyo. I've earned that request. Continue request ko lang sa inyo. Share it to your Facebook walls and to your trading groups. If you have any in trading groups para yung mga newbies doon, they will know that a program like this is existing. Uh, lessons here are for free. Ayan. So, uh, at least magabayan natin yung trading nila. Right, so yon at this area right here, and dito na tayo sa AGI um, PIP. Tingin ko kay PIP tags WPI and green. I'll write this down from CM Jaime. Well, nga pala guys, um, a little plug about my seminar. If you're here in Cebu for the Sinulog, right, uh, January 20, yung Sinulog, we're gonna have a seminar before that. At least, um, if ever, and dito kayo, you can join the seminar January 19. We still have seats available. Um, at the very least, uh, so, um, ano po, uh, what they call this, productive naman yung pupunta nyo dito. Sayang yung opportunity. Pupunta kayo dito sa Cebu, and might as well join the seminar. It's gonna be very helpful for you. If andun kayo from, you're from Bohol, malapit lang kayo dito sa Cebu, or from Negros, at pupunta kayo naman dito sa Cebu, join the seminar the day before that. All right, Rodel Bantoy, Good morning, uh, Sir Lloyd, CEI, CAT, MHC, please. I'll write these down. Sana madaanan natin. Oh nga guys, um, the topic natin for today is cutting losses. Kindly comment. Eh, I-comment nyo po, bak uh, ano yung mga concerns ninyo? Bakit ayaw ninyo mag-cut loss? Kasi um, I'm gonna be teaching three reasons. Bakit hindi nagka-cut loss ang mga newbies? Maybe you have a different reason na hindi ko, hindi ko alam. Uh, post it on the comments, right? So... Kasi yan yung pag-uusapan natin. FRMJCB, good morning sir. Pwede na ba pasukin si SMPH? SMPH, huwag muna kasi um, that's too aggressive. Um, baka bumaba pa, lalo ha, sa, back to its support. So we can't really tell kay SMPH. Um, mamaya na, pag may nakita tayong strong bounce na talaga. Rodrigo Calos, um, number one. Marlo Baroro, morning bun um, buntag sir. Uh, Lloyd, ngayon lang ako naka ramdam ng takot sa stock market kahit blue chip na nagkabusan sa SMC sunod mga bangko tapos ngayon SMPHAC naman kung huli na sa balita ipit na yes that is correct that is why guys I really want you to consider taking profits if your stock is already there at the top huwag nyo na pong bababayaan yan right 
always, always take your profits. Uh, mag-sell half lang kayo because you, you don't really know what's gonna happen to a stock. Baka bukas, si Jollibee naman na may bad news, di ba? Nahila lang yung ano kahapon. Grabe, ang selling kahapon, 16 billion foreign selling. Pero, it was offset by buying naman. Around 16 billion din naman ng buying. So, grabe ang volume ng PSEI with foreign yesterday. Sir, now po, from Rodrigo Carlos, I'll write that down. Ayan. One moment. Alright, Eugene De La Cruz, good morning sir, good morning. Um, Kasel, John Visaya, sir, okay po bang funda ni LTJ? Yes, mukhang taas po ng debt and mas mataas ng current liability kasi, kaysa sa current assets. Yes, um, LTG has a shaky fundamentals. It's just that LTG has already bottomed out. Alright, let's let's talk about that. Very good point. This is one of the reason bakit grabe ang bagsak ni LTG. But a certain point, it will... Uh, um, it will come to a point na magsa-stabilize yung presyo, right? Kahit na pangit ang fundamentals, you really can't deny the price action. This is the price action that we saw when I recommended LTG. Noon, we have an engulfing pattern and then we have a higher low. Volume is starting to pick up at this level. Napapansin nyo dito na level na ito. Let me draw. Uh, let me remove the Bollinger Bands. Napapansin nyo at this level right here, the volume is already picking up Bo- um, this point pababa yung volume so kahit na whatever the fundamentals is in a company right this is a good company still overall right si LTG yes malaki ano nila fundamentals is very shaky but you can't deny the price action this is one of the reason why I recommended LTG here I even talked to the owners of <laughs> Tutored Asia about this tinanong sila tinanong nila ako during this point so, Lloyd, ano ang number one recommendation mo for this uh, li- uh, for this market? During this time, I recommended to them LTG and it was able to win this one. Laki, di ba? 32% for just in just, just a month or two. Right? So, that's 32%. Palalo pa rin yan. You cannot deny price action. Kahit na pangit ang fundamentals, uh, kahit na ang pangit ng mga sinasabi ng ibang technical analysis nyo at the end of the day it's what the people are doing are they buying are they selling that's what dictates the movement of the stock and at this point people are already starting to buy it and then selling is already slowing down and the prices are already going up volume is already going up so why not diba so yun um, price action then that's one of my favorite type of trading then so you have to but in, um, in the future, siguro, this becomes your instinct. Makikita niyo po yung mga ganyan na mga movement in the future. Uh, I always, I also look at, um, I lo- also look at price action kasi in my trading. If I see buying, why not, di ba? So, kahit pangit yung fundamentals, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kay X, di ba? Sabi ni X, uh, I did not recommend X, but napapansin niyo, same technical analysis with, with, um, uh, with it, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, look at the price, but look at the volume starting to pick up already right the volume is starting to pick up and at this point pababa ang presyo RSI is going up it's a, it's saying as that there's momentum there's positive momentum already so even if pangit ang technical analysis ni X i mean even if pangit ang uh, what do you call this ang fundamentals ni X this is still 76% win why pangit ang fundamentals niya eh because it's really not just about fundamentals. It's just that my bias, part ng bias ko is fundamentals. But at the end of the day, fundamentals is just one, isang meter stick din yan. Get, uh, hindi pa rin natin masasabi kung gagalaw stock niyan or hindi. Now look at the fundamentals of third uh, of X. Third quarter, negative 219%. Second quarter, negative 227%. Grabbing negative yan, di ba? But bakit tumakit si X? Right? In the end of the day, it's uh, what people are doing that dictate, dictates the movement of the stock. So if nakikita nyo na buying and then you have the momentum already, so you th- you know that the, the stock sell-off is already has already stopped. Right? It's, re- it's reached to a point na ay na magbenta ng mga natitira ng ano, natitirang stockholders so yun do, uh, don't um, we can't really say kahit f- pangit ang fundamentals ng LTG um, it's the price action that we're looking at right uh, yun Eugene De La Cruz uh, good morning Sir Lloyd uh, average Joe good morning Sir Lloyd pasuyo po ng ATN FLI and ATN and FLI sulat ko muna to guys alright 
um, this will be the last for now. Um, let's see if ever uh, may oras pa tayo mamaya to read other mga requests. Um, uh, good morning, sir. Interested po kayo sa chatbot para sa chart requests para hindi nyo manually nililista. Um, I'm not... Yeah, pwede, pwede. That will be a very good help. Um, just, um, can, Bernstone, can you send me a message sa Facebook ko? Uh, we'll talk about that. Right, so, um, Joy, you're welcome. Monet Lagman, good morning. Everyone, hoping market will be green today. Happy trading sa lahat. May buntag from Randy Espinosa. Ayan. So, I'll stop with these people muna. Alright, let's go to our topic for today. Our topic for today is the three reasons why a newbie don't cut loss why a newbie do not cut their losses right uh, let me just prepare my slide and while preparing the slide and I want to thank our sponsors number one is 2trade Asia and 2tradeasia.com please check them out uh, if you're looking for a broker na fast reliable ang ganda po ng mga reviews ni 2trade Asia ngayon uh, check out 2trade Asia 2tradeasia.com kasi uh, ang, ang pinakamaganda dyan is not just they're, they're fast and reliable um, meron sila mobile app so that you can try trade whenever you want to wherever you want to diba? so that's very important especially for us like me na casual trader na hindi naman ako lang, all the time nakababad sa computer lang talaga so that's uh, that's a good broker for you guys and next up is eToro right? I wanna share my eToro account for, for the moment I've been keeping this um, ayun, um, I've been keeping this uh, public. Ayun, public. Uh, let me share. Ayun. Uh, this is Apple. Um, app, I recommended sa inyo guys, if you remember my post, I did recommend Apple at this level right here. Measure line. Ayan, line tayo. Did recommend Apple at this level because of the support right there. Diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, bumili na ng Apple and it's already on an uptrend. So, good job sa mga pumasok. I got bashed by this kasi yung pangit na daw ng uh, fundamentals ng Apple. Kaya nga bumagsak yan eh kasi pumangit ang fundamentals eh. Yung negative sa fundamentals niya, this is it. This is basically it. Right? So, now it is at a price na katumbas na siya ng fundamentals niya. So it's already uh, it's already the and plus the value of uh, I mean the company Apple kahit na pangit ang performance na this year, you know that these companies are gonna bounce back. That's why I recommended it here. Magbodega din uptrend na siya na bash pa nga ako dahil diyan eh. Pero <laughs> bahala sila. <laughs> right? So yan si Apple, it's already going up. My portfolio is already positive 34 dollars um because of my Google na position, um nagpo-pull back pa siya, hindi pa ganun gumagalaw but the, the stock is already uh, uh, consolidating so that's good um, check out eToro guys if you want to create an account use an account uh, use the link that I have on the video description uh, that will help me in return and they're the sponsors for my f Manila seminar February 2 February 2 guys uh, I'll see you in Manila right that is, I'm gonna be um, holding a seminar myself in person I'm gonna be with Paul Familiaran Right, he is the uh, head of uh, eToro in uh, uh, head office that nila sa Hong Kong. He's the one managing it there. Um, he's gonna talk about trading then also, especially at dito sa foreign market naman yun sa kanya. I'm gonna be teaching about uh, the strategies in trading in general, mostly in PSE, but this is still applicable. I'm applying my strategies in the foreign market and it's somehow earning, right? We've been earning on December and then today, um, as of the moment, here in um, PSE, I mean, sa eToro, sa foreign markets, we're still earning also. Hindi nga lang ganong kabilisan kasi I'm still, baby steps lang ako sa foreign market. Unti-unti na akong pumapasok dyan. So, yun, um, eToro, check out eToro. You can copy trade me or copy other people. Ang dami po nyo pong pwedeng kopyahing tao dito na magaling. So, if hindi po kayo, wala pa talaga kayong oras to trade or sa tingin nyo, hindi nyo talaga kaya mag-trade, check out eToro. Naghahanap kayo ng fund managers instead na dito ay sa Pilipinas maghanap ng fund manager which is napakamahal. Also, um, ang dami dito mga guro na nag-offer daw ng um nagma-manage ng ano ng ng portfolio nyo for 20% of the earnings i don't recommend that ang laki po kaya ng 20 20% bibigay niyo sa kanila give it to these people right here um these are very good 
traders right here. Um, last trading day is negative 66.66% siya. But last 12 months, look at that, 100 114%. Wala po siyang hihingin sa inyo. Right? This is his stats for January. Medyo negative siya for January. Pero napakalit lang ng negative na yan. Um, last year, grabe ang performance niya last year. So, positive 114 for past ano uh, past 12 months wala po siyang hihingin sa inyo di ba pag broker uh, pag nagte tayo may broker fees di ba eh yan so doon sa broker fees instead na napupunta sa broker binibigay po nila karami, uh, kalak, kalak, uh, karamihan ng uh, ng ng pera to ano to to, to, to your fund manager sino yung kanapit trade nyo so basically wala, wala na po kayong babayaran isa lang babayaran nyo yung broker fees lang which is kahit dito sa Pilipinas may broker fees mga, naman tayo di ba so yun um, Itoro check it out so topic natin ngayon the three reasons why a newbie cannot cut their losses if meron kayong reason what is your reason if you're a newbie ano ang rason mo bakit hindi ka makapag cut loss post it in the comments uh, we'll read about that so eto yung major reasons bakit hindi nakapag cut loss ang newbies number one it's price eto yung iniisip ng newbies eh. ayoko mag cut loss uy nag cut um, bu um, bumagsak ang presyo parang maganda naman yung company kasi sabi nila ganito sabi nila ganyan maganda naman yung company so wag na lang ako mag cut loss kasi baka baka umakyat pa eh, ba so price might still go up right number two is the emotion emotion ng isang newbie pati yung greed is still an emotion but um, I'm gonna be separating greed because um, that's a different discussion talaga emotion yung sakit right for example natatalo ang newbie um, kasi for example uy I'm already losing 5,000 pesos Right? So, sakit eh. Right? Sakit eh, cut loss. I'm gonna be throwing away 5,000 pesos, di ba? Um, isa, isa pa dyan is sayang. Sayang yung pera. Di ba? Pain and sayang. So, hindi lang ako magka-cut loss. Mag-investor na lang ako. <laughs> di ba? So, yun yung nasa isip ng mga newbies. And lastly is the greed. Right? We'll talk about that later on. So, yun. Um, a newbie, uh, nerd, Pat, uh, nerd pick, I'm, I'm, I'm a newbie. I don't want to cut loss because I'm still ho hoping that the stock I did buy will go up. You said the stock is unpredictable. So, hoping one day it will rise. That is correct. Yun yung sinasabi ko. The price might still go up. Right? Sir Lloyd, good morning. Pacheck naman po si I. As a newbie, dati, di ako nagka-cut loss kasi ganun din naman. Di ko rin alam paano ang tamang entry or paano maghanap ng magandang pampalit. So, nadadagdagan lang law sa scope pero at, at the end of the day, lalong malaki. Right? Um, yeah, that's very good. When I am about to cut loss from Noel Siriacau, nakita ko malaki ang volume sa bid at umaasang tumaas ang price. Right? Newbie problems, di ko alam anong percentage dapat mag cut loss. We'll talk about that VD. Right? Randy Espinosa, Sir, sir Tagarito po ako sa Cebu. Saan po yung seminar nyo po sa Cebu? Gusto kong sumali. Anong oras po? And nasa... And Randy, please send me a message sa Facebook profile ko. Right? So, profile ko sa page ko. I'm gonna answer you within the day. Gerald Asis, Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Hindi ako makapag cut loss kasi may trabaho ako sa araw. Di ma monitor. Oh yan. I'm going to be adding that. Very good. Very good. Um very good point, Gerald. Isa rin sa mga um isa rin sa mga rason bakit hindi na cut loss sa mga tao is hindi nila nababantayan. Di ko ma monitor ang market kasi I'm using call pa kasi. Good day, sir. May I know your recommendations for it. Mamaya na yan. So let's talk about this. Not able to cut loss because of delay in alert. 5% lang sana naging 8% na yung alert. Yan. Very good. Um Agent disaster. I'm gonna write these down. Okay, kasi these are hindi ko ito na forecast na mga answers. Eh. Very good answers. Right, I'll write this down. Hindi nakapagkat loss kasi yung alert delay. Alright, so yan. Um, number two is kanina is nagtatrabaho. Have work. I'll write this down kasi uh, pag-usapan natin yan. Have work. Yan. Wala pong nagturo sa akin, pwede palang mag to the point paper loss na akong 40k plus when I started. Nalaman ko lang when I started watching Daily Grind and attended your murang seminar. Big help talaga from Joy P. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm really happy to help Joy P. Alright, Pure Gold. Ayan, meron ano, uh, merong... Uh, may news about pure gold. Pag-usapan natin yan mamaya. Boing. Alright. Aber Abernano. Good morning, sir. Bot as in PH. And, um, reason kung... Reason din ba yung investor, yung newbie, right? So, we'll talk about that. So, these are very good answers from you guys. Unahin natin yung akin. Right? Price might still go up. Yes. That's a very valid concern. Sabi nga ni, ano kanina, um, I forgot who answered that. But sabi niya, um, kasi sir, pag, um, naki, uh, baka naman umakyat yung, ano eh, yung pressure, kaya hindi ako nagka-cut loss, ba? So, that's true, right? 
the thing is the market is unpredictable the pag na hit uh, pag bumaba siya sa support and malaki-laki na yung loss niyo and it's time to cut loss yung newbie kasi ang iniisip niya is baka umakyat kasi well, hindi ko lang i-cut loss kasi marami pa naman nag nagbibid eh so baka umakyat so hindi ako magka-cut loss right that's a very good concern dalawa lang naman concern diyan eh di ba dalawa lang ang movement ng market market can go down further or the market can bounce you are hoping that the market will bounce baka umakyat pa kaya hindi ako magka cut loss right so that's the mindset of a newbie i want to share you something um here this is the difference of a good trader and a bad trader right the difference between a good trader is uh that a good trader never lose big right for me that's my major concern that's the goal of a trader di ba never lose big you have to be winning bigger than your losses that's the concern of a good trader and how do you make sure you never lose big you cut your losses di ba so i'll explain this to you why um let me open paint All right, so if a stock starts to lose, for example, Jan, that's your support. If stock starts to lose, and I hit the cut loss, mo, right? You're hoping that it might go up, but there's the big possibility that it might go down, right? Again, I want my trading strategy. Yung trading na sinasabi ko sa inyo talaga is position yourself that you are in a not bad position if it goes up i mean whatever happens to the stock so if in this case ko hindi ka magka cut loss and the stock goes up you have a check mark there that's good for you but what if a stock goes further down boom at lumaba bumaba pa nang bumaba right you're already losing here and then maglose ka pa na additional and then that's how you become an investor kasi ang laki na ng loss mo investor ka na lang so if ever hindi ka magka cut loss at bumaba, what if bumaba lalo ang stock, you become an investor, that's bad. Right? Right. Number two, scenario, what if mag-cut loss ka? At least, ko man lang, kung mag-cut loss tayo, kung mag-cut loss ako, cut loss, and then, kung umakit man yan, then that's good. I can always do a re-entry. Diba? I can always do a re-entry. Anyways, at least na-minimize ko loss ko. Maybe it's very shaky. It's a very del delicate situation. We can mark it as an X, right? Um, bad yan, pero eto, pag bumaba, at least nakapag-cut loss ako, safe ako. So, this is, dalawa tayong, dalawang side tayo ngayon. Again, ang biggest concern ng trader, if you're a trader, is do not lose big. Right? The moment you wish that it will go up, yes, that's good kung aakit yan. But what if it goes further down? It breaks the mantra of a good trader. The mantra of a good trader is never lose big. You have risk to reward ratio. You have calculated this risk noon pa when you started. And you follow that risk to reward ratio. Wag po kayong papasok sa isang stock na wala naman kayong risk to reward ratio. Di ba? I'm willing to risk um, how much on this stock. Yun yung problema eh, kasi hindi kayo nag, uh, hindi nag ano ng is ang isang newbie ng risk to reward ratio. Eh. I'm willing, you have to calculate your risk. I'm willing to risk 10 pesos in this stock. If yun yung planado mong risk, cut that already. Uh, we have we explained that before. But again, the biggest concern of a newbie is never lose big. Never ever lose big. Sorry. Yan yung concern na isang newbie. Christian Cortez, thank you so much for the donation. For the uh, donation. Yan. Thank you so much. Right. Yan yung bigger concern natin ngayon. Do not lose big. Kasi pag the moment na mag-lose ka ng big and then lumaki pa yan ng lumaki. What if it snowballs even further down? Mas malaki ng loss mo. Yung, yung mga profits mo sa ibang stocks mo, kinakain na. Now, nawala na yung risk to reward ratio mo. This is the bigger concern of a newbie. Never lose big percentages. Right? A good trader, again, never loses big. 
And if you're losing big, you're not a good trader. You're breaking your system. Yun yung tinuturo natin, di ba? If you want to be a good trader, never allow yourself to lose big. So this is a much bigger concern than the concern na baka umakyat. So you are thinking about the profits. You're thinking about the profits and you're not thinking about the losses. Ang profits ang iniisip mo, that's being greedy. Right? Hindi yan yung concern ng isang trader. Uh, the biggest concern of a trader is never lose big. Right? Especially sa newbie kasi lagi kayong matatalo. Right? Pag lagi kayong natatalo and then natatalo pa kayo ng malaki, nako, naghuhukay kayo na, um, para sa pera ninyo. Hinuhukay nyo po para ilibing yung pera ninyo. Don't do that. Right? So, that's one of the concern um, of the newbie. Right? Prices might still go up. I hope that's clear. Hindi yan yung concern natin. The concern mo dapat is prices might still go further down. That's the much bigger concern na iniisip ninyo. Next is the emotion, pain, sayang. Ito yung problema kasi ng mga newbies din. Emotion, pain, tsaka sayang. Alright. Ang problema kasi ng mga newbies, pag ganito. Let's say, this is ISM. Paboritong stock ng mga billionaires club. <laughs> Paborito siya ngayon. Dati ATN naman. Let's say ISM. What if here? Pumasok ka dito at this level right here. And then... Um, you put in 100,000, 100K here, right? And then, nag-collapse. And then, na-hit yung cut loss mo, mga around negative 3, mga negative 5 below support. I mean, negative 5 na risk. So, from 100K, negative 5%. So, more or less, you're losing 5,000 pesos yung loss mo. Now, my question for you is, if you can answer it in the comment, please. 5,000 pesos. Is it easy to cut loss 5,000 pesos or not? Your system is telling you, i-cut loss mo yan. And then, pag tingin mo sa amount, hala, negative 5,000 pesos na ako. Is it easy to cut loss 5,000 pesos? Yes or no? Masakit yan. Alright? I know your answer. Some people will answer, no sir, hindi madali para sa akin yan. Meron naman iba dyan, mayayaman na, okay lang sa kanya lang yung 5 pesos. It's okay, we have different pain tolerances. But yeah, this is pain. Ito yung sinasabi ko, ang sakit ng 5,000 pesos and then, sayang. Sayang naman yung 5,000 kung ibibenta ko, sir. Uh, Mag-investor lang ako. <laughs> yung yung sinasabi ng ibang mga, ng mga newbies, most especially, di ba? So, this is pain and sayang. Right? This, um, and, so, medyo delayed yung stream natin. So, I'm get, getting late answers. But for sure, like my students, I'm getting a majority answer na no. Um, I mean, masakit i, yes, masakit i cut loss yan, sir. So, hindi ako mga pag cut loss niyan. Others will say yes, kasi sabi ng system eh. But yeah, usually, I get an answer no. Masakit yan 5,000 pesos, especially sa atin na hindi naman tayo gaya nung ganyan kayaman. So, masakit mag cut loss ng 5,000. The problem with the newbie is nag all in kasi. This is the problem here. Hindi ito ang amount ang problema. The problem here is that nag all in kasi dito. This is the reason why I always ask you guys to do test buys. Test buys lang. For example, may 100k ka dyan na budget for ISM. Test buy mo na lang than 30k. What if 30k? Right? 30k lang ang pinasok mo. Sabi ko sa inyo, test buy eh, ba? Pag 30k lang kasi, pag nag-hit yung cut loss ninyo, negative 5%, this time, the problem, uh, yung cut loss mo na lang, uh, yung loss mo is 1,500. 1,500 na lang. Now, my question again is, is it easier to cut loss 1,500 now compared to 5K kanina? Yes, cut disiplina, masak masakit yan. 1K nga, na masakit na bang, <laughs> bang, bang say, right? Um, masakit o, oh, pero mas masakit ko, it will go down further. Yes, tama yan. But here is, um, that was, that's a different scenario. Here we're talking about pain and sayang. Right? For a newbie, painful to loss 5K. Big T na. Right? So, yan. Now, this time, nag-test buy lang tayo ng 30K and then, if, um, na-hit yung cut loss natin, system saying cut loss, ang lugi natin is 1.5. Now, is it easier to cut loss? Yes or no? 10 seconds. And so, is it easier to cut loss now? Most probably, your answer will be yes kasi may delay yung stream eh, saying oras. So, most probably, yes. Mas madali na i-cut loss ngayon. Now, you're able to follow your system better. Mas makakapag-cut loss ka ngayon. Bakit? What happened? 
Yung 1.5, sabi niya kanina, newbies, masakit pa rin ng 1.5 eh, 1,000, di ba? Pero, what, what, why is it now? There's still pain, sayang pa rin ng 1.5. But what's the difference? The emotion is still there. Ang kalaban po natin dito is, <clears throat> the intensity of emotion. It's not the emotion that's the problem, it's the intensity of emotion. 1.5 still has pain, masakit pa rin ng 1.5, sayang pa rin ng 1.5. Pero mas tolerable na. We have different levels of tolerance as a newbie. But as a newbie, marami po hindi follow because of, ano, because of uh, the intensity of the emotion. Hindi po natin kalaban ang emotion. Sa, mali yung sinasabi ng mga tao, kalaban natin ang emotion natin. It's really the intensity of the emotion that's the problem. So that's why as a newbie, lagi ko po sinasabi sa inyo, test by lang, test by lang. Just in case this happens, mas mafa-follow nyo po ang, um, ang cut loss ninyo. Test by lang sa susunod. Please wag po kayo mag-all in. If you go all in because you want to win it all, 100k, pag umakyat yan, sir, laki, tiba-tiba ako ng pera. Yes, you wanna win it all. But if you wanna win it all, get ready to lose it all. Also. Right? So, yan. Diba? Mas, napapano- mas nasusunod nyo na yung system ninyo. Right? My lesson for you on this part of the, uh, of this part of the video is, if you're practicing, start with small amounts maliit lang po muna ng pera ang i-trade ninyo. Until to a point na kaya nyo na intensity na emotion for, sa tingin nyo, after a month, uy, follow ko ng system ko, I am able to cut loss 1,500 consistently. Let's try. Double natin yung pera. Gawin mong 60,000 next month. 60,000. Wait, let's see kung kaya ko ba ma-follow ulit ng system ko. Build your tolerance, right? Titigas at titigas kayo as a trader that way. Right? This is how you become a good trader. This is how you become manhid. Start with small amounts. Right? Ang problema ng mga newbies is shortcuts. Nagsha-shortcut lagi yung mga newbies. Oy, meron ako 100,000. Kaka-open ko lang na account. I-trade ko kagada ng 100,000. Big T. Laki ng losses. Hindi makapag-cut loss. Wala na. Ubus ang port. Losing 30%, 40,000 sa port nila. And ang ending niyan, because the intensity of the emotion is very big kasi nag-all in ka. I just mentioned that to you later. Hindi lang po sakit, hindi lang po sayang ang emotions um, when you trade, if natatalo kayo. Andyan po yung frustration, frustrated ka kasi pera yan nawawala. Pero all in yan eh, yung buong pera nyo mo, meaning yung buong emotion mo na, na frustrated na. Ang ending yan is, it destroys your confidence instead. And once your confidence is destroyed, wala, I quit trading. Ayoko na mag-trade. This is one of the reason why 80% of the traders lose and ang dami pong nag-quit mag-trade. Kasi nag all in. If you're a newbie, start with small amounts. Importante po yan. Start with small amounts and then slowly increase the amounts. Very important lesson ko yan sa seminars ko. Tinunuro ko na po sa inyo yan. Start with small amounts. Start building your confidence. Um, pakapal lang pakapal yung puso ninyo when it comes to um, emo, um when it comes to your trading emo, when dealing with the emotions in trading until to a point that you mature as a trader right kasi po yan yeah, that's 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 the reality of trading right kaya po nga ang mga magagaling na trader hindi po port nila ang tinetrade nila ang tinetrade po nila ang nagpupunta sila sa brokerages um port ng ibang tao kasi wala silang emotion hindi nila pera yan Kaya walang emotion when it, trade, when it comes to trading that. Right? So, yun. Um, that's the second reason bakit hindi nakapag-cut loss ang mga tao. Number three is greed. Yan, yung greed ng mga tao. Minsan, pag nag-cut loss, oy, my cut loss level is around, um, ang cut loss ko is 1.0. Baka umakit pa. So, pag uh, 1.01 na lang i-cut loss ko, ilagay ko sa cut loss ko. You're being greedy na baka umakit pa na isang, isang, or isang isang climb, di ba? And ang tendency hindi kayo mga pagcut loss. So that's the greed part. Ingat mo kayo diyan. Isa, isa naman dito, I'm not able to cut loss because delay in the alert. Yan, sa alerts kasi tinuturo ko sa mga students ko is if your cut loss is 1.05, don't set an alarm at 1.05. Set an alarm at 1.06, 1.07. Para pag na-hit 'yan, punta na kayo sa PC ninyo. Abangan nyo na if ma-hit yung 1.05. Huwag po pa 1.05. Kasi pag tanggap nyo ng message na yan and the delays, 1.0 na ang presyo, wala na. Investor ka na. 
So that's how you use. Very good, very good answer kanina about the alerts. Yeah, one of the reason why. Wag po kung anong presyo nyo um, kayo magkakat loss yun po yung siniset sa alarm ninyo. I teach that to my students. Wag po. Right? If your alarm is 10 po, I mean, if your cut loss is 10.0, Alarm, uh, set an alarm at 10.05, 10.03, 10.04 para paraorin nyo na po ang stocks ninyo when, when, when that happens. Number three, have work. May trabaho kasi. Hindi number three, number five na yun. Kasi may trabaho ako, Sir Lloyd, kaya hindi ko magkapag-cut loss. Remember my, uh, remember my lesson about profiling, knowing who you are in the stock market? This is the reason why I don't want you to trade if you're working. Profiling, right? Your profile, if may trabaho naman kayo and you cannot watch the market, that means you're not a trader. You're an investor. Be an investor. Kasi the moment you trade and then may trabaho ka and hindi mo mapapanood the market, you are gonna be an investor. Right? Hindi ka po makapag-cut loss, I tell you. So don't trade if you're working. Go to my video about profiling. Right? Sundin nyo po yan. Sabi ko po dun sa video, this is the number one reason why people are losing in the stock market. It's because they're applying the wrong strategy for their profile. If I'm profiling your investor, be an investor. Right? Wag po kayo trade. Cut loss is not in your in your menu dapat. Right? Projected price for ISM is 6.42 from 6.35. Right? That's good. Um, so your lahat na reason na hindi mga pag-cut loss, lahat na kami mga newbies kasi di namin alam ang movement ng chart. Parang loto na imposibleng manalo. Kaya advice ko, daily grind, ito dapat. Thanks for it. Paano naman mag-cut loss kung isa kang investor? Right? If you're an investor, I don't recommend cutting losses. Diba? I have a video about this. What if ipit ka sa isang stock? Tingnan mo po ano ang reason bakit bumabagsak ang presyo na isang stock. Right? If ang reason naman na bumabagsak sa is ang isang stock is market sentiments lang, bearish yung market, you don't have to cut losses. If you're an investor at bumaba ang presyo, dapat matuwa ka nga eh. This is the reason. Ito yung mga, um, this is uh, what I've been talking about eh. If I am in SMPH, actually I'm in JFC, di ba? I've been very conf uh, I've been very vocal with you, uh, sa inyo about that. Right now, I'm not happy with JFC. Because ang taas na na GFC. Ang target, pro, ang target ko kay GFC is still 5 years from now. 5 to 10 years from now. And it's going up very fast. And wala pa akong pera. Baka next month may pera ako. May pera ako next month. Ayoko lumipad si GFC. Gusto kong bumaba si GFC. So I'm waiting for GFC to go down. Pag bumagsak yung presyo ng isang company at investor ka, dapat matutuwa ka. Because this is your opportunity to buy more. You get rich by accumulating you get rich by the number of stocks that you have right bumili po kayo ng bumili ng bumili ng bumili ng bumili ng stocks na yan so GFC bili ng bili ng bili ng bili that's how you become rich in stock market right konti lang yung mayaman sa trading it's about investing really right um, Raymond sir ang cut loss po is 5% uh, below support or 5 below price ng binili ng stock very good question my, my cut loss is sorry uh, ang cut loss ko is, for example, this is the support. Just to be clear, this is the support right here. My cut loss is negative 3% below that price. Um, kahit anong presyo ka kung pumasok dito, I don't look at that. My cut loss is always negative 3 below support. So, I usually buy on the bounces, mga 2%, um, 2 ng bounce. So, overall, yung risk ko is around 5%. Right, so that's my risk when I. Oh, that's my, uh, that's my my strategy when it comes to what you call this. When it comes to cutting losses, so I want you to be clear. It's negative three percent below support. Um, anong recommend mo na re re reliable alert yung in app sana not via email pa yes. Um, ang pro si ang meron yan ngayon si Investagrams pa, right? Dati meron si Chupetot, pero nag down sila so nawala. So Investagrams ngayon may bayad, right? I know someone who's making this right now, right? So anytime in the future, abangan nyo po, may gumagawa po ng ganyan. Um, uh, talking to some people, sabi nila, ano kailangan ng mga traders? Sir Lloyd? This is, ito yung kailangan talaga ng mga traders. So someone is creating that for free in the future. So abangan nyo po yan. Right? So, yan. Um, anyways, um, is fa, oh, po, right? let's go to my, that's the lesson for today. I hope you've learned. May natutunan po kayo. <laughs> right, let me just close my slide. And then, let's go now to our charting. Ayun. Let's go to the chart. Unahin ko po, it's 9-11. So, unahin ko po ang recommendations ko for today. Uh, recommendations for today is, um, asan yun? 
yung recommendations ko tech or uh, yun or Jerry Shell PH and PSB Ayan. so I'm gonna put this in the comments uh, may question uh, may ano si Miguel dito um, ang problema ko sa cut loss ay alam ko magkano pero hindi ko alam kung kailan i-apply agad-agad ba yun yes agad-agad ba yun um, the very good question I cut loss right away kasi again my concern is what if Kasi yung ibang tao, iniintay pa at the end of the day. What if in the end of the day, bumulusok yan ang husto, tulad na Ayala Corporation kahapon? ba So, baka, maipit kayo. So, once it's it, my concern is, the biggest concern of a trader is, baka bumaba pa lalo, so cut loss ka agad. That should be your concern. Hindi yung baka mag, at the end of the day, mag-bounce pa naman. Huwag ganyan, please. Iinday-inday kayo sa cut loss ninyo. Alright? So, just follow your cut loss, cut loss right away. Uh, bakit minsan sir, I bought 4.5 for example, pero naging, naging 4.6 but that's because of the charges from Emmanuel. Sir, kasama yung fees mo doon sa 3% below support. Uh, yes, uh, basta yung presyo, right? I don't look at how much, I look at the percentage right away. When I plan an entry, very good question, so I'll, I'll go to that. When I plan an, an entry, for example, and, um, sino ba may magandang support ngayon? Si Picor. Right? So when I plan an entry right here, right? so this is Picor. Diba? Uh, ang cut loss ko kay Picor is negative 3.9% from support so that's 7.66 hindi ko na po titingnan ang presyo yung pera na wala sa akin pag na hit na 7.66 benta ko na yan right? I don't look at the um, charges and everything so yun those are my recommendations for today tech unay natin si tech <coughs> excuse me tech alright um, let's go with Bollinger Bands tech guys it's already starting to uh, um, consolidate uh, uh, good support test buy na po kayo mag test buy na po kayo dyan before it goes up ang ganda po ng bottom na yan right? we're already seeing momentum very low risk ang ganda ng performance the tech this year um, positive 207% um, second quarter positive 86% first quarter positive 14% annual earnings medyo negative lang annual nila but yeah it's been doing well for this year, right? So, tech is giving us good numbers now. So, that's a good recovery for the company. Volume is starting to pick up at that level. So, test out the support na. Hindi ko alam kailan gagalaw yan. Kaya, mag-test buy lang po kayo. Kasi, sideways pa naman yan. Uh, weird, um, pa, um, gusto kong trading is uptrend trading. Kaya nga po, um, pag uptrend na, mas malaki na kasi chance na manalo. So, dun niya po, dagdagan ng pera muna. Uh, pag uptrend na. Or naman, is forming a support right here. Start, uh, Bollinger Band is telling us, magsa-sideways na siya. So, this is a good possible sideways movement kay Or after a good so solid climb, and nag-resistance lang siya, nag-stabilize na naman. This is a good support. You can try out this support kay Or. Right? Um, this is a good company, guys. Ang ganda po ng future ni Or. Ang, ang, ang dami ng mga ano. Ang dami ng mga... Ang dami ng... Uh, what do you call this? Ang dami ng... Developments kay Or. May question kasi na eh, Nawala ako sa isip ko. Eh. May, may nabasa akong question. Nag-cut loss ba din kayo, sir, pag amateur hours? Very good question. Tingnan nyo si Ayala Corp kahapon. Amateur hours, bumaba. Anong gagawin nyo? <laughs> di ba? So, yun, um, cut loss, cut loss, SMBH, amateur hours, during the amateur hours, bumabagsak si SMBH, right, during the amateur hours, one minute chart, and this is the one minute chart, this is the amateur hour, diba, during the amateur hour, open the market, bagsak, bagsak, nahit yung cut loss mo, amateur hour yan, cut loss mo na, tingnan mo, bumulusok patuloy, naipit ka, kay SMBH, diba, so, yun, um, you you cut loss even if it's hit on the amateur hours right so next up is uh jerry right i'm recommending jerry for today technical analysis of jerry let's go to the one day chart and sorry about that si jerry one day chart niya right so the stock is on an uptrend obviously the uptrend line is here right there so ma20 it's nearing ma20 right the risk that you have if you want to use ma20 around there so, yan, mga negative 3 against uh, away from support. Try to bargain at this level right here. You we have a support for Jerry, nagbounce na siya, nagba-bounce na good price action already. You can try to bargain but the pr with price action telling us that it's going to go up. 
I think tataas pa to si Jerry. So this stock is on an uptrend. Very consistent numbers for Jerry for this year. Very good numbers. Very good numbers. So napaganda po ng galaw ni Jerry lately. So it's bound to recover. This is a very good support. We recommended Jerry at this level. And congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Jerry. Still on an uptrend. This is another entry point for Jerry if gusto niyo pong humabol uh, for Jerry. Uh, next up kay Jerry is Shell PH, SHL PH. And si Shell PH naman, after the Bollinger Band trigger, this is the pullback that we're waiting for and nagbabounce na siya malapit sa MA20. That's already confirmation. Pwede nyo na pong pasukin yan. Nag-Bollinger Band trigger na po yan, alam nyo na po saan papunta yan. It's already playing on the upside. So, pasukin nyo na po yan abang maaga pa. Next up is PSB. Alright, PSB, um, ascending triangle at the bottom part, one of my favorite technical analysis. So, pag nag-breakout yan, Actually, okay na nga yan eh. For me, right? Volume is starting to pick up. Guys, habang maaga pa, pasukin nyo na po yan. Right? PSB. Um, those are my recommendations for today. Konti lang. Right? Um, because the market is doing a pullback. Ang dami pang pangit na mga positions. I'm still waiting for bounces. Nag-antay pa tayo ng bounce. Alright? So, yan. Um, now we have time. Uh, sir, um, we have a question from Gerald. Sir, sa Itoro... Di pwedeng sa bank magbayad to fund ang port. Meron po silang uh, meron po silang bank funding if you want to. Very good question. I'm just gonna go to that for a bit. Just if you have an Itoro account already, just go to here. Um, punta kayo sa help, and then punta kayo sa how to deposit, and then how to deposit funds here. Um, pwedeng no 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 payment methods and limitations. Ato. Payment methods and limitations, pwede nyo po i-diretso to bank. Wait, hindi. Ayan, basta makikita nyo po dito ang mga payment methods, right? How to debit, um, how to use de deposit by debit credit, how to deposit using PayPal, pwede PayPal, how to deposit by your wire transfer, ito, for banks, ito, pwede kayong dum dumaan dito for banks, right? Um, medyo mabagal nga lang kasi kung, kung banks, eh, right? Meron zero pay, and then, Yon. So this is how you get in. If you have any questions kay Itoro, just go to help and dami po niyan. Market hours and fees, how to deposit, how to withdraw, everything. And dito, dito nyo po makikita sa help. Right? So next, let's go to our um, questions. Number one, si RCI. Kanina may nagtatanong about RCI. Sir, si RCI, pwede po ba? Ang ganda ng engulfing pattern ni RCI. This is good technical analysis. Good job sa nakahanap nito. Very good support. Um, volume, look at that. The volume starting to pick up already. This is a good bottom for RCI. So, pwede nyo po. Pwede nyo pong simulan ito. It's just that, it's against my trading bias kaya hindi ko po linalagay sa uh, recommendations ko. Right? But if you are into more into price action, yes, kahit negative yan si RCI, price action is telling us that it's okay. Right? Maganda siya. So, that's already a solid bottom for RCI. So, pwede nyo pong pasukin yan if you want to. Hindi ko lang nire-reco kasi against lang talaga sa trading bias ko. Uh, don't wanna recommend it that much. But you can go in if you want to. Si Vulcan naman, recommended Vulcan kahapon. Umakit na siya. Kaso nga lang, nag-chupit nag kagad ang mga tao. Lang yung mga chupitero yan. Pero wala tayong magagawa. That's the nature of the market. May chupitero talaga. So, yeah. Still okay. Bias long as the support holds. That's a bounce for Vulcan. Right? So, baka magtuloy-tuloy yan. Next up, kay Vulcan is ISM. Um, ISM was red yesterday, but again, ito yung sinasabi ko, just follow the trend line kay ISM. And you should be okay. Nag-aabang lang yan. Buti nga, ganyan. Mabagal ang galaw. Gusto ko pa ganyan. Kasi, mas, if ever I need to cut loss, hindi naman mabilis yung bulusok niya. Right? So, very stable price at the, uh, for the meantime. Bollinger Band triggers na and then we're playing above MA20 already so that's momentum already look at the RSI it's above 50 already so we have momentum for ISM already yun nga lang ang dami pa natatakot sa January 2021 so antayin lang natin yung January 21 thank you for recommending me idol coach Jerry <laughs> si Jerry Herrera alright good morning <laughs> alright so yan um, sa Itoro pwede bang joint account um, not really sure um, if pending joint account, uh, I haven't tried. I'm gonna ask, right? I'm gonna ask if pwede ba. Just send me a message sa Facebook ko. I will ask that. Right. Next up sa question si ECP. Right. We still have time. It's 9.21. Bilisan ko lang po ito. ECP, nga pala guys, February 2. I'll see you there. Mag-seminar po tayo. Join the seminar. I tell you guys, napakamura ng seminar. 1,500 lang. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Napakamura niyan. Sponsored by Itoro. Thank you so much, Itoro. Uh, wag niyo po sasayangin yung opportunity. Right? Take advantage of the bullish market para malaman niyo po ano mga dapat ginagawa ng isang newbie. Right? Um, ECP, MA20 bounce. This is good for ECP. Again, for me, it's not... Uh, this is, I'm against the bias ka ECP, but meron naman sila mga ginagawang maganda ngayon. Negative 51 uh, third quarter earnings, positive second quarter, uh, positive first quarter. Yeah, so far, so good ECP. So, pwede nyo pong i-buy ito sa MA20 niya. Actually, kahapon, umabot siya sa Bollinger Band niya. So, this is a good sign. right? It's already playing above MA20. This is good. I think it's gonna be good. If I can add ECP to my recommendations, sige, dagdag ko sa ECP. That's a good bounce kay ECP after this movement. That's a higher high. I can't deny the price action. That's good. So, ECP, yes, pwede niyo pong bilhin yan. Use the MA20. Ask your support for ECP. Very good. And ABG naman. It's ABG. Ayan. So, ABG collapse MA20. So, unti, um, konti ingat. Let's say if magbabounce yan. Pag nagbounce, that will be good. Pero, nagkakollapse eh. So, I don't want to recommend ABG as of the moment. Uh, wala pang bounce. LTG naman. It's LTG. Right. Engulfing pattern. We're waiting for it to stabilize. Right there, pag nag-green yan, buy na yan. I did recommend LTG at this green. Diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, medyo, ano yun eh, medyo aggressive approach because of this support right here. We tested out that support. Somehow, the support is holding. So, sa hopefully, tama tayo. If ever it collapses from that support, just cut your losses. Okay? So, LTG, wait for the bounce. I'm gonna be recommending that again. Pag nag-bounce yan today, baka today mag-bounce, pwede nyo pasukin end of the day. B Core recommended it for this support. Still sustaining the support. Buy as long as that support holds for B Core. Okay pa rin si B Core. Don't worry about B Core. IRC, yan. Still, same. IRC is holding that support. Buy as long as that support holds. Yan for IRC. Somehow, magsa-sideways na ito. Kunti ingat lang. Just, if you ever nakapasok kayo, just cut loss below that, if ever. Wow, 1-5 lang seminar. Iba ka, Sir Idol. From Observer Tan. Uh, Daniel Bakilod. Hello, Sir Lloyd. Same price din ba yung live seminar or online seminar? No, actually. Because this one is sponsored kay Mura po ito. Right? Um, Mura po ang sa February 2 because may sponsor tayo. I always do my best to get sponsors para po maging Mura yung seminars natin. Right? Sara Belleza, will you discuss Itoro platform on e February 2? Yes, part yan in discussion with the sponsor. Um, they're gonna be discussing the platform, how to use the platform. Right? Um, but majority of the seminar will be about uh, the trading, yung tituro ko talaga sa inyo. Right? Sir Cole, wala pong copy trade. Wala pong copy trade. Bawal po ang copy trade sa Pilipinas kasi baka mag, uh, baka mag bumagsak, mag crash yung market. Kasi pa paano, if ever, ako, kinapi trade ako ng lahat. Magkat loss ako, nagkat loss lahat, bulusok ang market. <laughs> right? So, hindi pwede sa Philippines yan. Philippine market, napakanipis lang po ng volume natin. Hold sim, it's forming a flag pattern. Right? Let's just wait for... Uh, yeah, somehow it's forming a support right here. Pwede nyo po i-test yung support na yun for Holsim, right? Um, overall, napakamura pa rin yung Holsim. Pwede pa po yan, right? So, you can test out that MA, uh, that support right here. It's starting to form a support. Dito na-recommend natin si Holsim. Umakyat na. Really, it's really hard to recommend dito sa mga areas na ito. As, as much as possible, I wait for it at MA20 before I want to recommend it. Si AC, is it a buy? Um, Nakasil si AC. Too aggressive for me. I don't want to recommend it yet. Let's see if baka mag-support pa ulit si AC or another confirmation for AC. Kasi it was a very volatile move yesterday. So, I don't want to recommend it right away. Right? Delikado yung mga ganyan. Si Vulcan, we talked about Vulcan already. Bell. Ayan, si Bell naman. Yeah, recommended it yesterday. Umakit siya kahit pula. But so far, so good. Uh, use this MA20 as your support. It's already 921. Pasensya na po if hindi ko po masagot lahat. But at least your recommendations ko na-cover ko po. So, that's it for today. Reminders, guys. February 2, yan sa Manila. Take advantage of the seminar. Napakamura lang po. I'll see you there. Napakarami niyo po matututunan yan. If you're in Cebu, January 19, join the seminar. Meron akong weekend seminar next week. That's January 24, 25. That's Saturday and Sunday. I mean, Friday and Saturday, 8 in the evening. If hindi kayo maka-join sa Manila or hindi kayo maka-join sa Cebu, may option kayo na online, which is next week, para sa mga OFWs natin, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can go with that seminar instead. That's it for today. Ayan. Um, uh, yung online seminar is via FB Live. Ayan. Facebook Live po tayo dyan para walang delays. Kasi walang delays yung live sa Facebook Live. That's it for today. As always, let's get rich together. Enjoy guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.